in these moments before the wedding, I feel so excited and I have just had butterflies all day long. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited though. This is the start of something I think is gonna be really great in my life. I'm marrying a wonderful woman. I'm, I'm very excited, I'm very excited. I just want to tell Matt that I love him and I'm so excited to be his wife and just share our life together from here on out. Babe, I'm so thankful that I get to spend the rest of my life with you. I, I couldn't pick a better person to do that with. I'm excited to see you today coming down the aisle and I love you. I love most about Matt the fact that he is just so thoughtful and so considerate and literally every decision that he makes he always thinks of me and in my feelings and how it affects me and I just, it's just so, he's just such a kind and thoughtful person. I love that she shares my faith in God and that we have the same set of values. That's very important. I love the way that she loves me because she loves me in a way that's resonant with me. I feel it and I think that she feels it too. They say you'll know when you find her when your heart starts racing faster than your mind does And mine does Oh yes, mine does It's nearly bursting at the seams and I don't mind it There's no easy way of knowing I just couldn't help but show it We were busy throwing arrows in the dark when I saw love, love, love in your eyes I saw love, love, love in your eyes You stole my heart And I don't mind Cause I saw love, love, love in your eyes They say you'll know When you'll find him when your eyes open so wide, it's nearly blinded And you won't mind it Cause he reminds you Of all those fairy tales you thought you'd left behind you There's no easy way of knowing I just couldn't help but show it Cause you were busy throwing arrows at my heart but sometimes you just know it Even though it's hard to show it Cause a fire never starts without a spark And baby, you're my spark Cause that's all love, love, love Friends, we're gathered together in the sight of God and in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church. This holy estate Christ adorned and beautified with his presence in Cana of Galilee and the apostle Paul commended as honorable among all men. It is not therefore to be entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God to remember that love and loyalty alone will avail as the foundation of a happy and enduring home. No other human ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. If these solemn vows be faithfully kept, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy, and the home you are establishing will abide in peace. Matthew, will you have this woman to be your wedded wife, to live together after God's ordinance in the holy estate of matrimony? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her so long as you both shall live? I do. Kimberly, will you have this man to be your wedded husband, 
to live together after God's ordinance in the holiest state of matrimony? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others? Keep yourself only unto him so long as you both shall live. I do. Genesis 2.24 is a popular verse that gets quoted a lot at weddings. It goes like this. A man will leave his father and mother and will be united to his wife and they will become one flesh. Or if you're a King James fan, it would sound more like this. Therefore shall a man leave his father and his mother and cleave unto his wife and they shall be one flesh. Either way, this verse packs some solid advice for a couple just beginning their marital journey together. Allow me a few moments on this blessed occasion to share those insights with the two of these as well as with you that have gathered here together today. The first thing is your marriage should involve a healthy independence from all other relationships. The first part of that verse contains the phrase, will leave. When a marriage begins, all other relationships need to take a back seat to it. The Bible says that you will leave, not that you may leave or you might have to leave or you, you should consider leaving. It says you will. You will leave. Earlier in this ceremony, I said these words, no other human ties are more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you now assume. A successful marriage involves a healthy independence from all other relationships for the sake of the one that you have with your spouse now. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have any other relationships. Pastor Rob said I can't talk to my mom anymore. I didn't say that, all right? However, the Bible makes it clear that your spouse is to be your main relationship, apart from the Lord himself, and all others should really pale in, com in comparison. Second thing I want you to see is your marriage should involve a mutual dependence on each other, the two of you. The next phrase I want you to see is this, and be united. The word unite means to join or fuse or mix together to form something new. However, the Hebrew word is the word debach, which literally means to hold fast, in fact, that's how the word is used or translated the majority of the time in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy 30, 20 says, Love the Lord your God, listen to his voice, and hold fast to him. Now, we can certainly grasp this concept when it comes to uh, loving and serving the Lord, right? I mean, to hold fast to God would involve honoring him, trusting him, and relying on him. Well, the same should be true for this marriage. You are to be united to each other, to debauch each other. That sounds bad, doesn't it? Debauch each other. I'm glad... We're not Hebrew, you know, to hold fast to each other. Other relationships may come and go. They may wax and wane, but not yours. God calls for the two of you to hold fast to each other. A successful marriage involves a mutual dependence on each other, independence from all others. And here's the third one. Your marriage should involve a lifelong process of becoming the couple that God intends you to be. I don't know how many times I see people gather it at the altar and say, now we're married. You're like, wow, now you're starting. Now, now it begins, and there's a lot of nodding going on out there from the married folk going, oh yeah, it just, it's just getting started. The, the last line in that phrase is, and they will become one flesh. You know, it's interesting, the circumstances that this verse came out of. Adam doesn't have a suitable mate, so God forms one out of, out of one of his ribs. And Adam has just seen Eve for the very first time, and he says, this is now bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. You see, Adam recognized the literal one fleshness that he had with Eve. Our verse today comes right on the heels of that. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and they will become one flesh. Now, my wife didn't come from my rib. She came from Long Island, actually. <laughs> and yet the Bible makes it, that's not funny. <laughs> Long Island's a nice place to live, is what I've heard. The, yet the Bible makes it clear that all marital relationships should strive to create this same one flesh experience. And this phrase, will become, implies a process. A process that starts today and, and really goes the rest of your lives. Simply put, it's a lifelong process of holding fast to each other. It's a lifelong process of becoming the couple that God intends you to be. Let me pray for you. Lord God, I thank you for giving us the opportunity to gather here. What a gorgeous day. Father, thank you for that. I know there was a lot of things happening over the last 24 hours that made us wonder but you came through for us, and this is just a beautiful day to be standing here today doing what we're doing. And so, Father, I pray that you would just bless our time together, and, Father, that you would, uh, uh, you would bring this marriage together in such a way as that, uh, Father, they would hold fast all the days of their lives. We pray it in Jesus' name. Amen.
If I could have the vow books at this time. The couple has decided to write their own vows to each other, and so uh, we're going to begin with Matthew and allow him to share with his bride. My bride, Kim. I'm a reflection of the good examples and teachings I've had in my life. The expression of love I've learned in witness of my parents and the values they have instilled in me. And from the church, I've learned the ways in which a man should love his wife and have learned respect for the sanctity of our marriage today before God. For as long as I live, I will hold these commitments to you. I will keep our Lord Jesus Christ first in my life so that he will guide our marriage and lead our household. I will honor and cherish you always in sickness and in health. I will model my love for you after Christ's love for the church. I will set my interests aside seeking opportunities to, to serve you and our family. I will be faithful to you always. I will be your best friend, your strongest supporter, and your closest confidant. I will be with you through the stages of your life, and I will love you through them all. I will always be deserving of your trust. I will be the best example of a man for the boys and for our children that I can be. I will develop their minds and guide their values diligently. I will be a lived expression of those values. For as long as I live, I will hold these commitments to you. Before we met, I prayed for my future husband, and I knew one day that God would lead us to each other, and I prayed for somebody who was kind and thoughtful and humble that would take my life as it is and complement it. Most importantly, someone who is willing to love my boys and who I am as a mother. Everything that I've ever prayed for, any preconceived ideas of what I wanted in a future partner, and so, so much more than I could have ever imagined I found in who you are. And I've never felt more proud than I am today knowing that I'm the one that gets to love you and spend life with you. I devote my life to you, encompassing all the joys, hardships, and experiences of life together. I promise to be the best version of myself as a wife to you and to a mother as our, to our family, creating a home grounded in faith and filled with learning, laughter, and compassion. I promise to remain faithful, to honor and respect you as my husband and the head of our family. I promise to listen to you, to learn from you, and grow together, taking you as you are now and all you're yet to be. And I will continue to pray for you, to encourage your dreams, and to help you become the man God created you to be. Will you each seal your sacred troth by the giving of a ring and pledge that you will faithfully perform your vows? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Those were gorgeous vows, weren't they? Focus on the vows, not the yucks. Wow. Yep. These rings are of precious metal. So let your love be the most precious possession of your hearts. Each is a circle unbroken. So let your love, one for the other, be unbroken through all your earthly days. Kimberly, as a token and a pledge that you will faithfully perform your vows, will you receive and wear this ring? I will. Matthew, indicating your responsibility to Kimberly to receive her into your care and keeping, I give you this ring that you may place it on her finger as a token and in pledge that you will receive her. Thus you are to encircle her life with strength and protecting love. Got it. 
<laughs> Matthew, as a token and a pledge that you will faithfully perform your vows, will you receive and wear this ring? I will. Kimberly, indicating your responsibility to Matthew to receive him into your care and devotion, I give you this ring that you may place it on his finger as a token and in pledge that you will receive him. Thus you are to encircle his life with affection and tenderness. <laughs> It'll go. <laughs> Sweaty. <laughs> Here we go. Thus you each are to wear your ring as the enclosing bond of reverence and trust. Thus you both are to fulfill the perfect circle of duty that makes you one. And as much as you, Matthew, and Kimberly have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God in this company and thereto have pledged your faith each to the other and have declared the same by joining hands, I pronounce that you are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. Amen. Matthew, you may kiss your bride. How are you? <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Just hold it. Perfect. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to present to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Matthew Montre. <laughs> Stole my heart and changed it. Took all of my plans and rearranged them. Now I finally know what amazing grace is when I look into your eyes, baby. I see my what you say we put us down some roots Found a house up on a hill and Travel around the world Put some pictures on the shelf Hold you close and keep the faith Raise some kids with our last name Well come on baby what you say we do I feel like growing old Every day I love you better than the day before Watch them sunsets fade from the front porch We'll build this home together with a rainy storm And as the years keep rolling on You'll be right What you say we put us down some roots Found a house up on a hill Travel around the world Put some pictures on the shelf Hold you close and keep the faith Raise some kids with our last name Well come on baby what you say we do I feel like growing old Down some roots, find a house up on a hill. Travel around this world, put some pictures on the shelf. Maybe one day a baby's go and have some babies of their own. And you'll get all my time till all my time is through. I feel like growing old with you.
I just met you Seems like yesterday You opened up your eyes And I recognized your face You know that you're the one that we've been waiting for We're gonna keep you safe First time I held you in my arms I knew I'd love you all the way I took you in at night Another day has passed Every week goes by a little faster than the last It wasn't so long ago We walked together and you held my hand now you're getting too big to want to But I hope you'll always understand That I'm always gonna lift you up And I'm never gonna let you down No matter what you do I'm forever proud of you Love you forever now Through your ears I hear it Through your eyes I see A world full of magic Full of possibilities You know as well as anybody How tough this life can be You've got so much strength inside you A strength I pray you'll never need And I'm always gonna lift you up And I'm never gonna let you down Time flies by forever now I'm always gonna be right here always gonna cheer you up I'm always gonna have you back you're never gonna be alone and I'm always gonna lift you up no I'm never gonna let you down Love you forever.